Assalamu alaikum. I am Arfa Khlaq and welcome to Fried and Tasted. All the recipes here are tried and tested. So today we are making a dessert chocolate cone. So basically there is no fixed recipe that you need to follow to make this. It's just a way of presenting a chocolate based dessert. So I'll be using melted chocolates to make these cones. The filling, I'll be using a cake that was lying in my fridge and I'll give it some life by adding some fresh chocolate ganache in it. I'll be also using some strawberry syrup and chopped nuts to decorate it. But yes, you can use whatever you prefer. Like I said before, it's just a way of presenting a dessert. So yes, if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and comment below to let me know if you like this way of presentation. And also if you want to look for more dessert recipes, go to the Sweet Tooth playlist which is on my channel. You can find a lot of cake, uh, different kind of desserts, cookies and shortbread recipes there. So yes, and subscribe if you haven't yet. For making chocolate cones here, I'm using acetate paper and I've cut it into circles with the help of a cookie cutter and then just cut it with scissor. You can use any kind of flexible plastic sheet which is non-stick and I'm also, I'll am also i be using a scotch tape to stick the cone. And now let's get into the making of cones. So with the help of my left hand, I'm simply holding the tip of the cone and with the help of my right hand, which is the dominating hand, by putting uh, my thumb or the two fingers inside it, I am trying to make a cone in such a way that the, the conical part, which is the tip, is as little as possible. And I'll just show you once again how to do it. This time to make the job easier, I have uh, cut the tape from before. And then once again, like I said, with the help of my left hand, I'll first try to make a tiny hole of the cone and keep twisting the, the top part of the cone with the help of my right hand, which is the dominating hand, and then simply stick it with the tape. Um, I mean, a couple of uh, cones and you'll be good with it and you can you you like you'll be you can easily make more cones from it you don't need a lot of practice for this like this I've prepared almost eight cones and I also have this chocolate here for putting inside these cone so I'm just going to melt it in microwave and you know for melting it in microwave we have to first put it in microwave for 20 seconds take it out mix it again and then again put it in microwave for 20 seconds and keep continuing until the chocolate is fully melted like this I also have these plastic cups the purpose is only to hold the cones upright so you can use any regular cup or anything of that sort and now carefully hold the cone and drip the melted chocolate inside it and by twisting the chocolate cone try to swirl the chocolate all over inside the cone if you need you can put some more chocolate but just make sure that the layer of the chocolate inside is not very thick and neither it should be too thin and then just invert it and, and just remove whatever excess chocolate is inside it if you see a tiny hole at the bottom that's absolutely okay it does not matter much and then just place it inside the cup to keep it upright repeat the same process with all the other cones and you can see that by the time I was done with the last one the chocolate has already started to set but to set it more I'll simply put all of these in refrigerator and in the meanwhile I'll prepare some other things to fill inside it so for the, f the first thing I need for this is chocolate ganache so I have some heated cream and chocolate chips and I'll simply pour the heated cream on top of the chocolate chips let it sit for five minutes until the chocolate chips are melted and after five minutes I just have to vigorously uh, mix my spoon until the chocolate and cream is well combined so this is how my final chocolate ganache looks like right now it is quite runny but I'm going to refrigerate it until it becomes thick I also have some strawberry syrup prepared 
यू कैन बाई स्टो बॉट स्ट्रॉबेरी सिरप और जस्ट सिंपली स्किप इट ऑल दिस इज कम्प्लीटली ऑप्शनल एंड जस्ट टू मेक दीज चॉकलेट कॉन्स मोर फ्लेवरफुल आई एम ऑल्सो यूजिंग सम नट सो हियर आई एम यूजिंग हेजल नट आई हैव टोस्टेड इट एंड देन आई एम रबिंग इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ माई किचन टावल जस्ट टू डी स्किन इट टोस्टिंग नट्स हेल्प इन एनहेंसिंग इट्स फ्लेवर एंड ऑल्सो इफ इट इज अ स्किन नट इट इज ईजी फॉर अस टू डी स्किन इट and then i'll simply uh, chop it with the help of mortar and pestle you can of course use a chopper or blender or anything that sort so yes strawberry syrup is done hazelnut is done and my chocolate ganache was sitting in refrigerator for around for around half an hour so it has become quite thick and then i'll simply uh, whisk it with the help of my beater until it becomes light and fluffy and it is easy to pipe it in the piping bag i have also taken a little bit of ganache into this chocolate cake crumb i actually made this cake around uh, a week before and then i got bored of it and just um, like put it in my uh, freezer section so i took it out and then just run it into my blender and added some ganache in it to give it a little bit life this is exactly what we do while making cake pops the rest of the chocolate ganache i'm just going to pipe in my piping bag like this now let's see the chocolate cones are out of uh, refrigerator don't worry about the tiny hole inside it because we're going to fill it anyway now very carefully very gently just remove the tape if you need you can actually use couple of tapes while preparing the cone here i have just used one of them so just carefully remove it and then the cone is out also whatever circle you prepared you can simply wipe it off and then reuse it again uh my chocolate cones are fully ready now the only thing left is to fill so the first step i am putting this cake mixture inside it and then gently dabbing it with my light finger now goes the strawberry syrup in it and finally here i have the piped chocolate ganache i'm just gonna press it lightly into the cone make a swirl and then pull it away like this so this chocolate cone is ready now i'm going to make another kind of chocolate cone for this one i'm just putting a little amount of chocolate cake first i mean the cake mixture and then putting again a little bit of uh, strawberry syrup and then again i'm topping it with the cake mixture press it gently and then again comes the chocolate ganache make a big swirl and then pull it off for the third one i'm simply using a star tip to give it a different kind of look of course you can play around with a lot of flavors and a lot of things this is the star tip and we got a swirl and then i'm just going to invert it on the chopped nuts and here comes the another kind of chocolate cone i have prepared all the chocolate cones with a little bit of variation here and there and you can see that this beautiful cute dessert is ready just have to refrigerate it until your guests are there so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below if you find this interesting also don't forget to subscribe and share it with others too hey subscribe to my channel by pressing the circle below with my face on it or also the red button that says subscribe while subscribing also press the bell icon so that you are updated when i whenever i upload a new video stay out of trouble and look for more videos right here